Hi, I'm John Neff, Editor-in-Chief of MotorOne.com, and these are my five indefensible opinions about cars. Number one, convertibles are dumb. There is nothing good that happens when you take the roof off a car. The structural integrity is compromised, you usually add weight, and the silhouette gets completely ruined. And for what? Some wind and sun? You can open the window if you want some wind, and just remember that tanning is your body's defense mechanism against the sun mutating your DNA. Number two, minivans are the best vehicles. <laughs> minivans can do more things than any other vehicle type, including acting as your temporary living quarters. Can you sleep in a Miata? No. Also, they're hotbeds for innovation. You've got stow-and-go seats, onboard vacuums, self-closing doors, in-car refrigerators. One day, they're gonna have a Snoopy snow cone maker in them. By the way, I don't even have kids, and I'd still pick a minivan if it were the last vehicle I could choose for the rest of my life. Number three, the Fiat 500L is awesome. What? what? All right. People's opinions about the Pontiac Aztec, which has been the most maligned car of the modern era, have begun to change. The brilliance of the concept, though not its execution, is finally being recognized. I believe one day the Fiat 500L will have a revival in a similar way once people recognize its quirky charm, clever packaging, and unique attributes. Yes, it looks odd, but the trekking trim level adds enough chest hair that it comes close to approximating a crossover. But by far the coolest thing about the 500L is its panoramic views from every seat. You've got a tall belt line, a tall roof, these funny little quarter windows, and an enormous sunroof that offers 4K resolution of the outside world. It's unlike what you get in any other vehicle. There's also some origami going on in the cargo area to accept stuff of all shapes and sizes, and the second row is elevated like theater seating. Mock it now, but the 500L's day will come. Number four, the Dodge Challenger is the best pony car. Because it's the only pony car. Look, the Ford Mustang and the Chevy Camaro both look backwards with their design, and that's completely at odds with the aspirations of their modern and sophisticated powertrains and suspensions. The Dodge Challenger, however, knows what it is and what it's good at, which is going like stink in a straight line. That's why Dodge hasn't tried to set any road course records with the Challenger, but it has claimed the crown of quickest in the world to 60 miles per hour in a straight line with the new Dodge Demon. Mustang and Camaro owners can enjoy getting their asses handed to them by real sports cars, while I'll be happier in the true-to-itself Challenger. Number five, trailer queens are okay. This is going to be unpopular, but it needs to be said. It's perfectly all right to buy a car and never, or not often, drive it. Cars are different things to different people. They're not always meant to be driven. Sometimes they're objects of desire for reasons other than just the pleasure of driving. To some people, cars are art. To some, they're good investments. And for others, there's pleasure in the mere act of owning something you've wanted for a really long time. We should be thanking these people instead of judging them. They are the custodians of automotive artifacts. Without them, all cars would end up spoiled past their expiration date. I'm John Neff, and those are my five indefensible opinions about cars.